the 2022 NFL season will see a somewhat new look. Miami Dolphins team take to the field, after an overhaul of the coaching staff sees former San Francisco 49ers offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel take the helm. McDaniel is working closely with general manager Chris Greer to build a team in his image, and while there will likely be some anticipated teething problems, the Dolphins should still expect to be competitive and try hard to reach the playoffs after missing out for the past five seasons. While the Dolphins were unable to reach their target of making the postseason, the past two seasons under former head coach Brian Flores did see them post-winning records, combining for 19-14 in 2020 and 2021. This was achieved with the majority of the current roster, and with the team's additions through free agency so far there should be a genuine belief that the team can continue to compete and post another winning record. The Dolphins' offense looks set to be far more balanced than in recent years, with McDaniel's strong belief in the running game seeing the additions of Chase Edmonds, Raheem Mostrert and even Alec Ingold join Miles Gaskin, Salvan Ahmed and Garrett Dokes in the backfield. With the running game having more prominence, it will take the load off of third-year quarterback Tua Tungavailoa, who will have more options to put up points and grind out yards against some tough opponents. The offensive line is still a concern for the team, but there are a number of players in the group that are still young enough to improve and reach the potential seen in them prior to their draft classes, with a new coach potentially helping them to work on their issues. With the addition of Connor Williams, and the likelihood of more bodies being brought in via the rest of free agency or even the upcoming draft, the Dolphins' unit has the potential to grow, giving Tungavailoa better protection and opening clearer lanes for the slew of backs on the roster. The Miami Dolphins' roster is still flawed, but it equally has room to develop with a fresh approach from McDaniel's staff and further additions that could be made in the coming weeks will only help to build on a team that has already shown flashes of genuine potential. Having a belief that reaching the postseason is achievable may be alien to many Miami Dolphins fans, but as the team continues to be retooled this is something that should become normal after the initial frustration of missing out on top-name free agents eventually passes. If you're looking for proof that the offense is starting to shape up, and get closer to the level of the defense, here is your sign. Although it is a very early sign, it is one nevertheless, the rooms of running back and wide receiver are busting at the seams. It is also a sign that the Miami Dolphins now have an offensive-minded head coach. When Brian Flores was here it was cornerbacks and safeties being collected. Of course this could all change as the cap amount dwindles during free agency, and moves could be made to gain more assets to spend, or money could be moved around and a player gets more guaranteed money. The NFL seems to be very adept at finagling. Comments made during the NFL scouting combined by Chris Greer, and later on by head coach Mike McDaniel indicate that they are somewhat pleased already with the talent they have along the offensive line. However this hasn't stopped fans and pundits alike being on edge that high prospects are not being picked up during free agency, and I can't blame them one bit. Connor Williams is a nice guard they picked up, who was rated in the top 10 for pass blocking by Pro Football Focus. Mike McDaniel's specialty has been engineering a running game, and some of the early moves made was picking up running backs, we now have a full back. Alec Ingold is in the fold to cover that role. He did suffer a torn ACL back in November, and there are conflicting reports if he would be ready by week one. Chase Edmonds and Raheem Mostert were also picked up to fill the more conventional running back roles. Guess what? These two also have injury histories. What is it about the Miami Dolphins in getting players with these type of histories? I used to stray from speculating which players they would get because of health, but no more, it seems to be their trend. One other trend that irks me like the injury-prone deal, is the lack of promoting from within, for players on the team that have showed out in many ways, yet seem to get passed over. This time it was the loss of wide receiver Mac Hollins. Okay I won't turn this whole story into a Debbie Downer rant. The aforementioned players have an abundance of talent and speed and should provide great entertainment with the upcoming camp battles ahead. Let's just all cross our fingers they will stay healthy. Wide receiver Trent Sherfield might help fill the hole left on special teams from Holland's departure. The other pickup that caught my eye is wide receiver Cedric Wilson, who stood out for the Cowboys when they were falling off a cliff from other wide receiver injuries, he stepped up and provided excellent plays mostly out of the slot. To veer back on the injury-prone subject a little, wide receiver Preston Williams was brought back, who I have plans on writing a whole story about for later, but just for now, he has a ton of upside that hopefully will be brought out this coming season. Are you feeling the Durham Smythe hype? He was brought back along with his partner Mike Jasicki, and just like the running game being a key fixture in the Mike McDaniels offense the tight end is said to be also. It seems like every almost every season, I have this Lucy and Charlie Brown trying to kick the football moment. 
this time it is speculating more help in the slot position, with Cedric Wilson, it has been other players in the past. Every year that falls by the wayside and it's mostly Jasicki. Who really knows what McDaniel will have in mind to transform this offense into something much better? We can all look at game clips of the 49ers and imagine some of that happening here with the Miami Dolphins.